This one is three months in the making, so I have finally pulled together an honest review for the Zip facial toning device with microcurrents and nanocurrents. I'm gonna share five things about this device. Also, you have a better idea of whether or not to throw down almost $400 for it at the end of this. Like, does it actually work? We're gonna find out. Here we go. So I have the Zip GX. The brand gifted this to me. I was under zero obligation to review it over here. You're always gonna get my honest opinion no matter what. I've been doing that for seven years after thousands of product reviews. If you like those types of reviews and you want to support this channel, you can do so by hitting that like button. It takes two seconds. It makes a huge difference. Let us know in the comments if you've tried any of these devices out. I know one of their main competitors is New Face out there. The current option on the market is Halo. This device was $4.99. Now it is $3.99 and I will give you a promo code in case you want to invest in it. There is a precaution before using this device. Absolutely check that out. People who have certain issues, medical, health issues, skin issues, Shoes. This is not going to be a contender for you. You have to be careful when you're testing out microcurrent, nanocurrent devices. So definitely look at the disclosure on the brand's website because I don't want you to buy this and be like, oh, I can't use it. That would not be good. Let's dive into the five things and then my final verdict on whether or not I think it's worth it at the end. So what is inside this little doodad? Dual waveform technology. This is one of the only devices out there from what I've learned that is both micro and nanocurrent. I spell all of this out on the scorecard back on the website so you can read through all the extra notes because I went deep because I am fascinated by this stuff and I give it a lot of side eyes. I was like, I don't know. I want these things to work, but a part of me, there's always that part of me, probably the reviewer that's like, I don't know. I don't know about this, but I want it to work. So microcurrent versus nanocurrent. Microcurrent is like a workout for your face at a muscular level, helps the muscles contract and relax. You're getting skin toning off of that, things like that. The nanocurrent is where it gets interesting. It works at a cellular level. This is supposed to help with the production of collagen and hyaluronic acid. This is a long game. There are claims about short-term benefits and results. There are claims about long-term benefits and results. So that's how I reviewed it. I also received gel in this package. So you'll see I have the golden gel in there. That's the top of the line gel. It has a lot of skincare in it and using this device helps it really penetrate the skin supposedly. Again, I'm not a doctor or a dermatologist. This is what I'm reading on the brand site, but I liked it. I just didn't love it. You have to have conductive gel. Yes, you can buy different types of con conductive gel out there when it's not enough. The device will actually blink. If it won't work if there's not enough gel there, which is a good thing, or it It'll kind of detect gel, but you'll feel a zap, a zippy zap, and it's not like a fun feeling. It's not the worst thing in the world. But you want to have gel. I told you I've been using it for three months. It actually lasted quite a long time for me. I used six to seven pumps of the gold gel every time I use this. That's because I did longer treatments across the entire face. However, the bottle lasted. Still, I wanted to try something without silicones in it, so I went with their silver gel. I really like this gel compared to the gold gel, which is great because it's less expensive. They do have other prices and other gels that are lower than the silver gel. You read the reviews there, sometimes they dry out quickly during longer treatment sessions. So you have to reapply, which is a pain in the butt, but that's just other people's reviews. I haven't tested it for myself. I've just done gold and silver and I prefer silver. The gel is also a little bit messy, but it's not as bad as some other products. I read a lot about different gels out there and they can be drippy, messy, fall all over the place, too tacky, too sticky. This is definitely more liquidy, but it does glide onto the skin. It feels nice. It's not terrible. I didn't mind it at all. The last part of this, in terms of what you do with the system, things you need. You gotta have the device, duh. You gotta have the gel, absolutely. And then you just use your phone. You use an app on your phone. You download that. It was very simple to do and it's pretty intuitive to use. Had a couple of sticking points with it, but I'll talk about those in a second. Ease of use is next. So the size of this device is, some people might like it, some people might not. I can see why New Face is probably a little bit easier to hold on to you're really, you're holding it like this and gliding it all over. However, because it's smaller, you can sort of navigate all the little areas wherever you need to. Here's the one thing that I just wanna mention for my own face shape and size and where <laughs> everything's located basically. These nodes are where the currents come out of. They're not that far apart, but when you're watching the videos, like it hugs the chin nicely, 
but my features I think are smaller. So if I'm going over my cheekbone to carve out the cheekbone, which is one of the moves, because of the space in between, is getting too close under the eye where you don't want it to go in some treatments because that's not a safe area. She explains this in every treatment, so you don't have to worry about that. But another example of that is if I'm going over the brow for lifting, because of that length of space, this is going way too low onto the upper eyelid. This is tiny, tiny, tiny minutiae detail that I didn't think of when I first received this. I just learned it along the way. This may be helpful for you. It is not a deal breaker for me, but it's something that makes me think, okay, that's that space is something to consider if you have smaller features. If not, then this is gonna be great. And because it's small, you can adjust accordingly, but it's kind of a pain to have to do that. In terms of the treatments that I use, so I used this again for three months and I found ones that worked for me. Ultimately, I ended up really liking instant gratification, which is a six minute treatment. I liked the forehead treatment. I like the jowls treatment. So I would do a six minute treatment and then a targeted treatment. I also have done the works, which is a 14 minute treatment. So I do these three to four times a week. The brand recommends working up three to five. It's all based on what your goals are and how much you can handle. I wouldn't overdo it if I were you, but that's just me, that's not medical advice. The reason that I used those treatments is because I wanted to be able to tell if this was actually working. Instead of just doing jowls or forehead and then lips and stuff, you can do all different types of treatments. Instead of just doing spot treatments, it would be really hard to see what the overall benefits were to the face before and after, if that makes sense. Plus, I also really ended up liking one of the treatments that's free form. The only issue that I had is you turn this on, you go to the app, you turn on whatever treatment you want. This beeps three times, so you're gonna know, okay, it's sync. And then if I did something like the works, which is the 14 minute treatment, you really do have to watch her unless you can memorize that whole thing. My goal was to get to the point where I could just memorize it and not have to listen to her. Not that I don't love her, she's very calming and the founder is very sweet, beautiful skin, great skin, obviously. What happens is it beeps every time you need to move to the next section. It's very easy in that regard, but as she's speaking to you, talking you through the treatment, her beeping goes out of sync with my beeping. So she's like one step ahead, I'm one step behind, or I'm one step ahead, she's behind so the the timing wasn't syncing very well you get the hang of it you can hold the device away from your face if you need to just pause and let her catch up but it was kind of frustrating it was very nitpicky that's why i ended up really liking the instant gratification because that is a free form treatment i would do the same prep and setup I would hit the treatment and then i could actually close the app because it was synced and i would just sit there and you'll see the demo and do my thing over and over again and then I would do the forehead treatment. That is the way that I really like to do it now. I've gotten into a really solid routine. I do not mind sparing six minutes. 14 minutes felt like a lot. If you're looking for something quick and easy, definitely stick to those free form treatments or you can always do it at night. I just prefer doing it in the morning because my skin felt amazing afterwards. I will talk about that in a second. Charging is also very simple, USB cord. I just have it plugged in. The charge lasts for quite a long time. You don't have to charge it a ton of times. 68 pumps of this product work perfectly fine for me. Final note on cleaning, you do obviously do not want to submerge this in water. Do not do that. You will ruin it and waste your money. You just use a damp washcloth, rinse it off. If you're very freaked out by that, then take a little bit of rubbing alcohol, put it on the washcloth, very, very little bit. You don't want to get this wet and then you just wipe her down. I haven't had any issues. Cleaning has been very, very, very simple. Overall, I think it was very easy to use. In terms of on the face, I think it's easy to use. It's a little, when you have gel on your hands, sometimes you get gel all over the place. It's a little tricky. Your hands get a little slippery. There's no real tight grip, but I got beyond it. I could use it pretty well. I think the new face might be easier, but advantages and disadvantages in that. I still don't know. Three out of five for ease of use decent for sensitivity. So if you have extra sensitive skin, something that I realized and I talked about this really quickly, if you don't have enough gel on, you will feel the zippy zaps. Otherwise, you're going to feel muscle movements and contractions. 
Your lip might start going like that a little bit. It feels weird at first, but it's very natural if you're following the treatment. You're not putting this in places where you don't need to have it, like too close to the eye, whatever. If you're sensitive though, make sure you put a lot of gel on. There are also treatments in different levels, so you can see within the treatments what you might want to use to work up to the stronger level. I happen to love the feeling now of just that current, that vibration within the skin, it's very calming. I love it on the forehead. I do a separate forehead treatment and it just sort of like, you can feel the energy going into the skin and I feel like it's doing things. I just really like it now I'm a fan. Those would be my tips for sensitivity. Otherwise, I'm sensitive to things like that. I didn't have any problem. Got a four out of five. We're gonna get into the claims and the results. So in terms of lifting, contouring, and toning, you're supposed to see short-term and long-term here. So within the first 48 hours, you're supposed to see brightening, lifting, and contouring. And then after that, over the course of time, you're supposed to see a, a reduction of wrinkles, at least within six weeks is what the brand says. Glowing and smooth skin. We love that. The, in a nutshell, because again, I dive deeper into this on the site, but the for short term, in terms of brightening in the first 48 hours, maybe. I think my skin did look bouncier. I'm not gonna say brighter. I'm not gonna talk about it getting rid of any pigmentation, but yes, my skin looked glowier. I will absolutely give it that. Lifting wise, like she'll say this in the video, you know, she'll be like, okay, do you see that side of my face is lifted? I saw because the eyebrow hairs were pulled up, it looked lifted. For me, I didn't see a huge change short term in the lifting or contouring of my face. That stuff I saw long term, a little bit. Long term results, I saw an absolute change in the tone of my skin when I use it versus when I do not. And I saw a little bit of contouring. Here's the funny thing about the contouring. I didn't see it at first. It also depends on where you use this. So what treatments you're using. But something that was interesting was I hold it for a bit under here. Part of that was because I was having sinus headaches and it felt really really good but that's random otherwise i would hold it here and what it does is it works out the muscles right here those muscles pull up here so you're getting that lifting from the gel so you have to think of it that way which is really interesting and then i would spend a lot of time right here lifting up always up and out is the direction that she says like you can't screw it up if you're constantly going up and out you never want to apply pressure going down the neck i also saw a little bit of improvement i have the neck bands tech neck hello yes also age but i think i saw a little bit of improvement here contouring was something that i really started to notice very late in the game it took longer than six weeks for me and it was because i was at dinner with my mom and my mom's like oh I'm seeing something, something's different. And then when I was trying to get a before and after, which by the way is very tricky to get with these types of systems, I don't know. I know you see them on the website and they have perfect lighting for it, but even under these lights, it's hard to share with you what my tone is like. She said she could see contour and I started seeing a little bit of contouring right under here. So I saw, I would say lifting from this area up, a little bit of contouring here. And then in the forehead, I would have liked to have seen more because I did spend a lot of time there, but I didn't really see a lot of difference in terms of reduction of wrinkles or anything. And I have very fine lines, these lights, are great, but you, they're they're there. Trust me, they're there. Sometimes if I just drink enough water, they go away. <laughs> so, so I would say it hit some of the claims for short term and some of the claims for long term. Wasn't a hundred percent for me. And with the long term claims, it did take longer than six weeks to see it. I'm not mad at that. But consistent long term use is a must for you to see something. And you shouldn't be squinting in the mirror going like, is that different? You should be able to see it. The short term payoff was really that bounce and that brightness, if you wanna call it that. So I say it followed through a little bit there. I just didn't see that contouring short term. Long term, a little bit better. Three out of five for that section and results. Fine line reduction. This is where I saw, it's supposed to immediately smooth lines out. It can last for up to 72 hours. So the immediate lifting and contouring wasn't there, right? I did, however, see plumping as a result of that. And I think that's just because of the currents hitting the skin. There was more blood flow. I also did gua sha after this, but I would look at it before I did the gua sha. So I was getting like double 
duty skin treatment in the morning, which was great. Things were plumper and so lines were reduced as a result of that. Immediate results were there. Do I think this is going to eliminate wrinkles and reduce them? It doesn't claim to do that, but you know, just be careful if you're going into this and thinking that you're gonna have smoothed out skin. A lot of the times on the video, she's like, we're just gonna smooth this out, we're gonna smooth that out. And it makes you think like a crinkly piece of paper is getting ironed out. And I did not see necessarily that, but what I saw was just this plumpness that I loved to see. Something that I do get from the Gua Sha Stone and Massage, any facial massage will give you that, but this was a little bit different. There was a tone to it. There was, it was a little bit different and it's a little bit hard to put into words. Also applying makeup after I do these treatments, gorgeous. <laughs> love doing it. She talked about that in the beginning in one of the videos and I was like, whatever. No, she was right. It feels so good. Your skin almost like is waiting for it. It's sitting there. It's like, yeah, come on, let's do it. It feels like it just accepts the makeup and it kind of soaks in really well. So it helped with makeup application. The total score for this device is a 14 out of 20. I feel like it's the gift that keeps on giving for me. I'm still discovering little new things every week. I'm seeing results slowly but surely over time. Is it this drastic before and after? No, I think that's going to dissuade some people when you watch this. However, I can feel the tone difference. I can starting, I'm can i starting to see the contouring. And for me, because I have it, it feels like a really good preventative option now. Not only is it great right after using it, but I can see these longer term results and I enjoy this process. So six minutes every morning, as long as this thing's still working and kicking, I'm going to continue using it. It has now officially become a part of my day. I really did not expect that to happen. I really, really didn't. It has helped me and I do think that it will continue to help me. If you've tried anything like this, a microcurrent, nano current device if you've tried the new face and you love it or you don't like it i would love if you could share your experience below if you want to get into more details you can check them out on the scorecard you can always look at my favorites out of the thousands i've tried those are the ones i would buy again and again and again and probably have at this point if you found my honest review helpful don't forget to take the two seconds if you haven't already hit that like button subscribe if you're not already so you never miss another one of these reviews i will see you right back here real soon until then bye